I have four dump trailers that I rent as dumpsters. Bing, bing, bong. I can easily make about $10,000 per month in profit doing this with just four of these dumpsters. I learned that people quickly overcomplicate the ins and outs of this business, and it can go south quickly for people that do not handle it correctly. Today, I'm gonna talk about some of the things and how I make money with just four dump trailers, and we're gonna go to the landfill. So you guys are gonna come to the landfill with me while I talk about all this, all right? This is the load I'm gonna take. I just picked it up today. I'll show you guys what's in it. It's just, I don't know, just trash. Regular stuff, you know? We're gonna take off to the landfill now and talk about how I make money with four dumpsters. These are the comments that I deal with daily on my TikTok profile. I'm called a liar. The lie detective determined that was a lie. I'm told that I don't make any money doing dumpster rentals, especially with only four dump trailers. I'm told that after the dump fees and fuel, there's no money to be made in this business. I mean, come on, this guy even said, nobody is stupid enough to rent one of these for $300. At the end of the day, I believe that this business has been so good to me because I'm able to keep it so simple, extremely simple. I read posts and I watch videos of other companies, some much larger companies than me, who are complaining about how much they make or, or don't make online. I'm constantly called out, you know, called out by these adults on social media who don't know how to run their business correctly. And so they'd rather go online and complain about people that make content about their industry than fix their business. If you've watched me, you've already heard me say that when I started May 2021, only just a year and a half ago, there was already a ton of competition. There was dump trailers everywhere in my city, in my service area. I didn't get into this business because of anybody on YouTube, but I definitely didn't go online and start complaining about YouTubers that did this, claiming that they're holding you know, all the business hostage by teaching guys how to do it themselves. There's no problem in teaching people how to make money for themselves. When I was considering doing this business, the one thing that really convinced me was the fact that everybody has trash. You cannot convince me that everybody doesn't have trash. It's really just how well you can market it. And this business, like most businesses, is really just a marketing game. So if you're good at marketing, you'll do fine in this business. I personally believe that there are a lot of dump trailer or dumpster rental guys that can easily get turned off to this business because of these few kind of mistakes that I'm gonna list now. The first reason being the fact that it's common for people to want to scale incredibly quick in this business. I've met many folks who've been excited to start this business and due to successes and wins that they saw with others, they jump in with all five feet and when they aren't doing too good, they double down and buy more equipment. I personally do not think a roll off package is a good idea for a new dumpster rental company. I've said this before, but I just feel like the cost is, is not worth it. 40,000 compared to 10,000 for something that you don't know if it's gonna work. I just don't think it's worth it. Especially compared to the amount of work you most likely get in your first year. I've always recommended a good sized dump trailer for anyone who's willing to listen because it can help you develop your market, establish yourself as a business, and possibly help you develop yourself into a responsible and educated business owner. Now don't get me wrong, Within five months of starting this business, I was up to four dump trailers, which was basically $35,000 in assets, plus my truck. With this money, I could have easily gone out, bought a roll-off setup that had three or four cans, um, and then maybe have been scaling easier now with the roll-off setup. But I would have not got the experience that I did with the dump trailers, especially without having to put out so much capital. The other thing is that I wouldn't have realized every day that I'm renting the one that I need another one. With the roll off, I would have started with three. I would have been more complacent, I think, personally. And that's what made me decide, you know what? I need another one. I was able to start you know, this business with a small cash investment of about 8,000, and I didn't have to worry about using 35 or $40,000, uh, or the payment of 35 or $40,000 on a new roll off setup. I noticed that when people start and quickly overreach their limits, they quickly give up and badmouth people like me who like to create the content not realizing that they could have made better business decisions and possibly had a different outcome, you know? The second thing I noticed that happens is that sometimes people just get too big 
and create a lot of expenses and extra work for themselves. Um, when I say that I walk away with $10,000 a month, you know, renting out four dump trailers, I mean that. Uh, I do not have to pay employees. I don't have payments. I don't have to rent yard space. Um, I don't have to pay all those other smaller miscellaneous costs that are involved with operating a much larger dumpster rental company. One of the main reasons that I am weary of any scalability options is that touching any more dumpsters in a day than I already do now would require a driver. That driver would negatively affect the bottom line. In doing so, I'd then need to scale bigger to offset that cost. You know, at what point does it become worth it for me to scale to a point where I can walk away with more than I do now, but have all the other expenses involved with scaling, you know? Those two things right there are, are really how I think I make the most money um, because I started small and I have extremely low overhead. I keep it simple, you know? A tip for you that I would have would be to evaluate your needs and scale when it's best, not when you're excited. Another tip uh, I would have for you is if you're considering or maybe even struggling in this business, consider letting me have the opportunity to give you a one-on-one -on -one personal consultation, right? Let's hop on a video call for at least an hour and talk about your market, your marketing, your strategy, your finances, uh, maybe some other things that you didn't think about. If you booked a one-on-one -on -one with me, it also includes my legally binding contract that I've had over 800 rentals with that have saved me thousands and thousands of dollars in damages and overages, and access to my private dumpster rental Discord group where there's hundreds of members in there, new and seasoned in this business, all helping each other out. The contract is delivered in a docx file, so it's completely editable and I put in there highlights on the things that you should change, either be your pricing or your business name, all the stuff that is you know, different from mine. Either way, thank you very much for watching to the end of this video. I was recently told that watching to the end of the videos means more than any other metric really on YouTube. So thank you very much especially for staying here because you're helping me grow even more. If you're maybe interested in helping me grow even more, please consider you know liking and subscribing. And you can put a comment down there saying that you made it all the way to the end because I will be doing my end of the year giveaway shortly with all of my subscribers and everybody in my private group. So go ahead and subscribe and join the private group now so you can be entered into that with more details coming soon. Uh, thanks again, and this has been Andy with Elite Equipment Rentals. Now, here's us at the landfill watching all the trash come out of the trailer. Thank you again. I don't know if you guys can see, so this one was 0.8 of a ton. $49 ruse, 0.8 of a ton.